and see the energy as that and see it getting bigger and more dense and more compacted with energy and see it getting stronger and bigger. Greetings, greetings, what's up? We're back with another episode of The Weekly Awakening. My name is Taraku Day with Awaken Within, the metaphysical master, here with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about the hand chakras. And if you haven't watched it already, go back and check out my story that I uh, have in my other video, um, talking about my story, how I got into metaphysics and how I got into being so dedicated uh, towards this practice of knowing myself and understanding myself and my mind and the structure and mechanics of my mind and spirit. And, um, and it all kind of started and originated with this technique. So I'm gonna show it to you. It can be used, mostly I just use it to heal myself. But I mean, I'm sure you can use it to heal other people. You can use it to move energy. You can use it for all type of things. I mean, I use it for, I use it for more than that. I use it to, you know, I don't, I don't pray over my food, but I do energetically pray on my food. And I use my hand chakras to do that. When I'm cooking, I'll open up my hand chakras and put the, infuse the love and energy into the food. Um, you know, which kind of already intuitively flows just because of the intention. But when I do this, it really, that's, that's the real seasoning. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to share that technique with you all today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you may know, a lot of you may know, and if you don't, uh, your body, most people know about the seven main chakras of the physical body, which chakras are... Um, energy centers. They're transformers. They transform non-physical ethereal energy into physical uh, energy and back from physical energy is not non-physical energy. And so every spot of the chakra is associated with a ductless gland of the body. It's called ductless because, you know, biologically there is no entry to where, like what this gland secretes, there's no space for things to come into it. And so it's ductless. And so, and so the reason is because what's going into it is energy, and then it's producing a physical substance um, from that. And so one is the root chakra, um, which is at the base of your spine, that has to do with, um, you know, physical and en earth energy really is what it is, but it has a lot of other principles. A lot of this video isn't really about the chakra. So, um, you know, there's plenty of information on that, but, uh, it essentially is earth energy. The next is the sacral chakra, which is just below your navel. And that has to do with um, solar energy. And the next is the solar plexus chakra, which, which um, has to do with interpersonal energy with other people. But the next up is the heart chakra, which is just above your solar plexus and below your throat. And that has to do with uh, healing energy, loving energy, um, emotional energy. And that's, you know, that's where your wisdom is stored. Your knowledge that you've stored up from all your lifetimes is stored there. Then you have your throat chakra, which is about willpower, commanding your energy, commanding your life, commanding your mind, commanding your emotions and everything with the, with the throat chakra is with the energy. Then you have your brow chakra, the third eye, which is about mental perception, mental energy. And then your crown chakra, which is spiritual energy. And so those are the main chakras that people know about. And, and some other people are aware of the, you know, the other chakras even higher than that. But those are the main chakras and the main sources of energy. Well, you also have minor chakras, which are like thousands of those all over, you know, your fingertips and all that and everything, your earlobes and all types of stuff, tip of your nose. But you also have major minor chakras, which are in your shoulders, your elbows, your knees, your hips, <clears throat> and your feet and your hands. And these chakras, especially the hands and the uh, feet, they are really more so about receiving and giving energy. So you know, the two chakras in your hands are about, you know, that far out from your hands and just balls of transforming energy in and out of your hands. So I, I can already feel them uh, right now, moving energy back and forth. And so what... The right one is about giving energy, but you can receive energy from it also. And the left one is about receiving energy, but you can also give energy. So, you know, one thing you can do is just hold your hands together and have like a circuit. I do this sometimes um, to kind of, I just, I just kind of do it sometimes just to kind of, kind of like not really like warming up or anything, but just, 
you know, keeping, keeping the energetic muscles sharp and strong. And I'll just cycle the energy pulsating. And now my whole arms are pulsing. But, um, and I mean, my hands are really pulsing. But anyways, there's just plenty of different things you can do in moving the energy. But with the hand chakra exercise, specific to the technique that I'm going to share with you, what you'll want to do is hold your hands uh, like, like this, but then cup them a little bit to where there's space. You don't want a whole lot of space. You don't want your palms touching. You just want your fingertips touching and just enough space in your palms to where there's space in there. And what you'll do with that space, because when you do this space, then both chakras are, are intertwined, like a visica Pisces. There's, there's an intertwining. And so there's a space in the very center where the energy of both of those is concentrated. And so what you'll do, and, and if you're just, if you don't, aren't very good at visualizing or anything or just starting out, you can use your imagination because your imagination will create an intention and energy moves off of intention and it'll actually happen. But, you know, just keep on imagining it until you begin to perceive it. And you will. <laughs> I mean, either very quickly or it might take you a week. I don't know. Who knows? Or it might take you or, or you might have already experienced this shit. But anyways, what you will do is on the inhale, imagine or see or perceive or cause the energy to come in the nose with your breath, come to the brow. As, as your breath trails off and goes into the lungs, your energy will come in through the brow to the medulla oblongata, which is like the radio transmitter of energy. It directs energy out into the different spaces in your body. And uh, it's connected. That's why, that's why the medulla oblongata is connected to every part of your body. That's why, and because of that, that's why it's like, the only part of the body that can't be like operated on or anything like that because it's so, so interconnected. So anyways, then you direct it down to your heart chakra and whoosh, disperse it out your, down your arms, out your arms. And you know, you won't do all of this. You'll keep your hands like this and, and really you'll want it like this, down like this, but I'm holding them up so that you can see but you'll have it down like this and the energy will go and you will, Move all of the energy on the exhale. So inhale all the way to the heart and then exhale out the arms and into the space between your hands. And now in between your hands, you can imagine it as like a collective ball of energy, you know, like on Dragon Ball Z or something, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's a good visual to be able to use and just see that in the middle of your hand. Or it can be a flame um, or like a small sun, whatever, whatever you want to create. Um, and see the energy as that and see it getting bigger and more dense and more compacted with energy and see it getting stronger and bigger with every inhale and every exhale and do that. And it might take you like five minutes. That's fine. Um, you know, it might only take you 20 seconds before you start feeling something. And, and for me, it's like a pulsing. My hands will start pulsing. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I mean, it's clear and evident, especially now when at first it was, it was kind of Actually, it's pretty clear, but not as as clear and distinct as now. Now it's like, boom, boom, you know, like a like in the Looney Tunes when they you know smack their thumb and their thumbs just like, boom, boom. It's, it's like that. But some people they experience their hands get really, really cold, or their hands get really, really hot, or they just are vibrating or tingling or something. I don't know, but you'll feel something and you'll feel the sensation. But just keep on doing it until you do, and just see the energy coming in. Energy going out. And just keep feeding that energy into that sun in between your palms. And then once you feel that difference in your hands, that is that feeling is the evidence, symptom of the byproduct of your hand chakras opening up. Now with them open, you'll take your right hand and from the top of your chest, because you're pretty much going to open up your heart chakra. Because Oops. And so you'll take your right hand because that's about giving. And what we're going to do is we are going to stimulate our heart chakra to then open up our heart chakra because, like I said, our heart chakra is our healing energy. It's a green energy. It's healing energy. And so we want to access that because it is our healing power. So we'll want to use that to help us with, with energy. Not only are we going to bring in divine energy because when you, when you breathe in, inside of the oxygen and air is encapsulated solar energy 
from the sun. And, and in my in my sun gazing video, I think I talk a, a lot more in depth about this and the vitality globules and everything. And that solar energy is also super conscious energy. It's divine energy from the source of the universe. And that energy is encapsulated within the molecules. And so when we breathe in, we are not only breathing in the oxygen, but energetically, we are also bringing, breathing in this prana. And so, yes, we will be using that energy, but we also want to harness and utilize the healing energy that we have within ourselves as well. So we're going to stimulate to open up the heart chakra. And what you want to do is place your hand at, so right here is where it's at. So we're going to be going around and around like this. And just so, because the camera might be flip-flops, you might be facing some type of way, you'll want to have your, um, so you'll go from the top of your chest over towards your left shoulder as you go down to just over your solar plexus, just above it, and then over towards your right shoulder and coming up. So you know, I'll try to do it without fucking up the camera, but essentially you just go and rub, rub like this on your chest with your hand open, with your hand chakras open. Rub like this until you start to feel a sensation in your chest. And if you don't feel a sensation, then just do this for like five minutes. And, but visualize and ima imagine like a vortex, a cone, a cone shaped vortex spinning, <sighs> spinning and the energy swirling, 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 swirling. <sighs> and that's opening up your heart chakra. Now with the heart chakra open, I just kind of like do like three or four breaths back into my hands just to build them back up like, <sighs> and then like, so with the growth that was on the back of my head, like I didn't even, if you watched my healing, my, uh, my other video about uh, the technique, the, the story that I had where I healed myself with these, I had a growth on the back of my head and a serious heart, sorry, heart issue for two years. I didn't even do anything with the heart issue. Just opening up my heart chakra and using that energy for other things, that alone healed my heart issue. But then this, so I just put the left hand there and just did the same thing that I was doing with the hands, but just into my head. So I would breathe in with my heart open and I would, you know, maybe it's on, maybe it's on, you know, your shoulder, maybe you have a shoulder pain. So, you know, put it on your shoulder and just breathe in. And then the energy going down to your heart. And then uh, the way I visualize it is it's like as the energy is passing through my heart center and going out my arm, it's almost like my heart center that's spinning like that is like a, it's like a filter to where when the, when the energy goes through it, vroom, it automatically transforms into that healing energy. And so then it comes out my arm into my shoulder. You know, if you have a headache, then just put your hands over your temple and then bring the energy in, out both the arms and into the head. Pull the energy in on the inhale, send it out from your heart to your hands and into the space that needs healing on the exhale. I'm sharing with you that I healed myself. I'm not, I'm not, like I said, find out what these things can do for yourself. You know, I'm not saying that anything can heal you, uh, but I am saying that this can help uh, improve a situation energetically and, har and harmoniously through vibrations and har harmonics. Um, you know, I'm just gonna leave it at that. But essentially, you know, if, if you wanna improve your eyesight, should you tired of wearing contacts and glasses, then put it over your eyes and, and improve your eyesight. Now, something like that, it might, you know, also, you might also have to alleviate and move beyond in your mind the belief. Uh, because if you, you know, especially if you wore glasses ever since you were a kid, that's a very strong belief that you have that your eyes are bad or your eyes are no good or your eyes can't get better. So you really, that's very powerful. So you, so you also want to do like some mental work with that. Any of these things, you know, if you're trying to increase any body part, you also want to look at the mental cause because everything, thought is cause of everything. So, you know, with eyes, it's all about perception. So, so you have to start seeing things differently. You know, start paying attention to really pay attention to your surroundings, you know, increase your mental perception, then you'll be able to increase your physical perception. But anyways, so that's the technique. After you're done, um, <clears throat> you know, 
You don't really have to do it much. I mean, if you want to close your heart chakra back up, not really, it's not really closing it up, but it's um, just like reversing the energy. So instead of the energy coming from within and going out, it's then taking outer energy and stimulating it back into yourself. So then you just go the other way. Um, and that would, instead of the heart chakra pumping out energy, it would pull energy in. So you can do that, um, but you're fine. You know, or you can just like leave it open and and give it the command to continue after you're done, you know, with with whatever you were doing, you know, um, you can just give it the command to continue to seep healing energy to that space. Uh, one other good thing that's really good with this that I, that I use all the time, like, you know, whenever you're waking up with um, like you wake up, and you know, you're about to get a cold and about to have a cough and your throat's really sore and the cough's really coming on. It's not it's not really set in yet, but it's. It's just there and you know it's coming immediately i'll sit up out of bed open up my hand chakras and then you'll put these you'll have your fingers like this like a like an eagle's claw you know three three talons and two on this side of your of either your adam's apple if you're a guy or uh or where that would be if you're if you're not and then the thumb over here and then send the energy into there and that's it so I hope this helps, uh, you know, check out those other videos. So as always, I leave you in peace.